Good morning to all my grade four students. Um, we are doing unit one in this explanation. Um, the easiest way for me to do it is to share the screen with you. Um, so I'm going to just share the screen quickly. Play. Okay. There we are. Uh, just wanna it on the screen a little bit bigger. Okay, there we are. Okay, unit one is um, the treble clef, the different clefs. Um, we have to know all the notes in the treble clef, the um, F clef, and the two C clefs. So there you've got all the notes. Um, important to remember is that this is middle C. In other words, this is what it, the note sounds like. Um, and the same note in this clef is there. This is middle C in the bass clef. And this, the C clef or the alto clef indicates to us where middle C is there in the middle. So this line is the middle C line and that's also the same note, C as in the other clefs. So important to know is, uh, to take note is that this is middle C, this is middle C, and this is middle C. That's the same note. So anything going up from C, that side is the same as that, and the same as that, going up from middle C. Okay, then the first exercise is quite clear, so I don't think you will have any problems with that one. Then the next page, um, I'm going to play you three notes in succession, and you must please um, tell me which one of the three that you can see there in front of you in exercise 2.1 is the right one. So um, this is the first one. 2.1. Um, if you can recognize that, then just mark the one that it needs to be marked. And then 2.2 .2 is this one. So which one did you hear? And then exercise three um, is also a listening exercise. This is like just extra so that we can try and integrate the theoretical side of music with the practical side of music. So this isn't required for the grade four exam. We just do it for fun. <laughs> so this is G major. This is a tonic do. One, two, three. I'm gonna play it again, one, two, three. So you need to, need to fill the, in the gaps there. Then the following exercise, transcribe the following to the alto clef. Very important to remember is that um, you need to know where middle C is and able to able, to be able to transcribe it. Transcribe mean that you have to rewrite it on the same pitch as um, what it sounds like on this one cliff must be the same pitch in the other cliff. Um, so if you think in this, in the G cliff, middle C is there. And in this cliff, middle C is there. So that's the same note. It's got the same sound to it as well. And this exercise is starting from the E above middle C, so it sounds like. So your answer should sound exactly the same and um, then you have to think where you need to start and that's the most important part in this exercise. And also important to remember is that you also have to, if the key signature wasn't there, you have to rewrite the key signature and you have to rewrite the time signature and then you start. Okay, so send me your answers on that one, please. And then there's some um, homework or general knowledge questions. 
that I'm not going to explain to you. I want you to please um, complete that and then send it back to me so that I can see where your general knowledge is at, at this stage. So that is unit one. Enjoy. <laughs>